What's up, everybody? It's Jet Desert Fox back at SHOT Show 2019. We're at the evic.com booth with Ryan, and he's going to give us a load on, on a bunch of new handguns and other rifles from evic.com. Ryan, take it away. Hi, Jet. Thanks for stopping by. We have a lot of really new, exciting releases for you guys this year. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about the SAI Utility Slide. So a lot of you have seen the real SAI utility slide that they've been releasing on some of their complete guns, and we wanted to bring that to Airsoft. So for a lot of you that have the Umarex Lead Force Glocks, um, we're going to be making a kit. So it's going to be a slide kit for it. Um, so you'll have to buy the gun and then buy the kit. But then after that, you'll be able to install it. Um, we've recreated a lot of the texturing that they've done on the slide for you know grip, um, same fiber optics uh, front sight, and their signature salient rear sight. Again, this goes on the Elite Force. The Elite Force Glock, yeah. This on this one's on the 17 Gen 4. Very nice. All right, what do we got next? So next, let us find the next item. So a lot of you guys are familiar with the SAI Blue, I and mean, this is something that we showed you guys last year. Um, you know, really cool gun, faithful reproduction of the real thing. Um, but some people I know that you guys might not like if you're anything like my hands, you don't like having the full size 17. Like sometimes you're like, oh, maybe this is just a little bit too much uh, meat at the bottom of it. I want a 19, 19 style uh, G17 sort of, or G19 styled uh, handgun. So for you guys, thankfully, we have the SAI Blue C. So the Blue C is a lot of the same features as the SAI blue full size, except for this time it's a little bit shorter in the front, a little bit shorter in the grip. Um, it has a slightly different magwell as well to accommodate that smaller grip, um, but for those of you who have slightly smaller hands like me, um, this will fit your hand just a lot better. Awesome. Yeah. You have a little girly hands. Yeah, these are girly hands. So, Brand new for the show, we literally got this put together right before we were about to leave. It's going to be a prototype of the F1 Firearms gas blowback rifle. We know that when you guys, when we came out with the AEGs, everyone was like, why didn't you make a gas blowback? Everybody wanted a gas blowback gun. Well, here it is. Um, we've actually used the Tokimori MWS system. Thanks, ghost hands. And so as you can see, you can see all of the internal workings of the gun. You can even see the hammer drop. Yeah, but this is still a very, very, very early prototype. Um, there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be ironed out, but we're really excited to bring not only a new F1 firearms design to the Airsoft community, but to use one with the Tokimori MWS system. Then next, we have the SAI Red H. So it's going to be a their Red 1911-2011 uh, series, except for this one's the high cap variety. So it's going to have the high cap magazine at the bottom. Um, in addition, we have a plastic grip module at the bottom right here with a metal mid-frame with a full dust cover and the aluminum slide. Super excited for this one. That and Jet's favorite right here, and my favorite too once we get all the kinks ironed out, is going to be an RMR mountable slide for the SAI Blue. Now, a lot of you guys have seen the other kinds of aftermarket slides that have tried to mount red dots on the slide, but the, the hardest part is really getting around that blowback unit and air nozzle that's usually sitting right here. So we're actually taking the time to redesign the blowback unit to sit a little bit lower so that we can actually mount an RMR pattern uh, sight on the top. Right now we have a hollow sun uh, micro red dot on top of there, but it will be compatible with Trichicon pattern, uh, Trichicon footprint uh, micro red dot sights. Looks so good. Yeah. So good. Super excited for that one. And then next, moving on to even more new products, we have the STI DVC-3 gun. Now, STI being, I, I love high cappas. I'm sure a lot of your audience probably loves high cappas too. Maybe, maybe they want something that is a race gun right out of the box. They don't want to have to buy a base gun and then build everything up from the, you know, from the start like I had to do and spend a lot of money on it. Well, good news, guys. We're going to be producing these guns in, a, in collaboration with ASG and STI to make sure that you get a complete STI DVC-3 gun complete with that beautiful gold barrel, slide cuts, a replicated texturized grip with double undercut, enhanced magwell, all right out of the box and ready to go. Let's see that logo on the other side. There we go. Yeah. Nice. So super excited for that. We're gonna have obviously CO2 and green gas options for it. 
Next, we have another brand new release for us this year. We actually have the first production sample of the Hudson H9. So we started working on this last year when we secured the license to produce the Airsoft Hudson. And this year we actually have a complete model that you know is almost ready to go. There's still a couple things that need to be worked out, but we've replicated everything down to that funky hinge trigger that they use. Uh, Which but it feels great, by the way. Yeah, it feels amazing. Like they really did a really good job, not only at the break of the trigger, but if you guys can hear that, it's got a really audible and tactile reset. Crisp, crisp. And the trigger press on this gun is very smooth. Yeah, and it's straight back. You don't have to worry about a hinge trigger. You don't have to feel like that whole thing is rocking back and forth. And once you're done with this uh, safety part right here, it just goes straight to the rear. Yeah, and it also has ambidextrous slide catch, works on both sides, very low bore axis, everything you come to know and love about the Hudson. So next, I'm just going to grab it and walk back that way so that you're not, yeah, so. It's a prototype. <laughs> You're gonna cut this up, right? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, all righty then. So, this is the Jack Nine. Uh, it's another new release from us this year. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the uh, Sharps Brothers uh, variety of AR-15 receivers, uh, we're doing it for pistol caliber carbines because it's all the rage right now. Um, so you have the Jack lower receiver. You have ambidextrous controls on both sides. You have the new Aries style slim grip. And they've actually changed the motor angle on it, so they've had to do some modifications to the gearbox too to make sure that that motor is sitting at an angle that will still interface with that bevel gear at the bottom. Really cool stuff. You also have a fully functional folding stock. The contacts go through the stock right here, so if, when it's folded like this, it will not fire. You have to then extend and connect the contacts there in order for it to work. You have a locking bolt catch to adjust the hop up. And last but not least, the whole thing comes apart so that you can swap front ends or you can break it down for easier storage and travel. So we have that. Still in the prototyping phase. Oh, I forgot one more thing. So another pistol caliber carbine that we have for this year is the Angstat Arms SCW9. So very, very, very rough prototype. Um, the body is still plastic on this because we're still making changes to it, um, but we are paired up with Angstead Arms to produce their uh, pistol caliber carbine along with the collapsible rear stock and their signature looks. Yeah. And then last item, I think we're finally at the end of this list, is the SAI Red single stack. So like I showed you over there with the Red double stack, a very similar gun, still 1911 styled. However, this time it's got a single stack magazine. So for those of you that want that slightly slimmer grip, some of, for some of you it's a little bit more comfortable, I uh, will be having this option on the market soon as well. Very nice. All right. Thank you so much, Ryan, for showing us all the new stuff from Evic.com. Thanks for stopping by. No problem. All right, guys, more from Chacho 2019 to come.